How to change your WordPress permalink settings. You may find that the default WordPress permalink setting may not suit your needs and may not be optimal for search engine optimization. Changing your permalink settings can not only help with SEO but also make your URLs much easier for users to read, bookmark, and maybe even remember. So, first step is to go to your WordPress blog, and here I have my WordPress uh, Acme travel site. I will need to first uh, log into the site with administrator privileges. So I'll click login. I'll put in my administrator user ID and password. The next step is to uh, open the site in another browser window so that I will we'll be able to uh, view the changes we make as we make them. So once again, here's our blog site. And you'll notice that if I click uh, one of the posts, the URL uh, uses a query string in order to display the, uh, the post. It's perfectly functional, but maybe not optimal for your needs. So in order to change the permalink settings, you'll go to your dashboard and scroll down to the bottom. And under Settings, click Permalinks. You'll notice that the default setting, once again, is exactly what we see, the query string with the page uh, attribute and with the value of, in this case, uh, this is page number 27. We may want to use um, a different format, such as day and time. So I'll select the day and time um, yeah, radio button, click Save Changes. I get a message saying the permalink structure was updated. And I'll refresh my uh, blog site. And then once again, click on this post, and you'll notice that now the URL is organized by year, month, day of the month, and then the actual blog title. So this would be like a chronological uh, permalink setting. Um, that may work really well for your needs. It may be perfectly fine for what you need. Or in some cases, you may want something that's a little bit more hierarchical. Um, the most popular uh, way to approach it is a category slash uh, uh, title. So if we go back to our dashboard and choose a custom structure, and then I'm going to cheat a little bit and go here and grab a string I've already uh, set up. And I'll go in here and I'll paste this string that's basically category post name. And what that does is it creates more of a hierarchical structure of uh, displaying our posts based on the category that they belong to. So I'll click Save Changes. And we'll get a message saying the permalink structure was updated. Uh, once again, refresh my blog site. And then refresh my post. And you'll notice that in this case, the URL is quite different. I've got my um, domain name, my blog folder, and then I have a category. In this case, this post belong is categorized under travel. And then I have the name of the uh, the post. So once again, the uh, permalink setting in use here is category name and then post name. And you'll probably find that in most cases, this setting works best for search engine optimization. It also makes the URL uh, much easier for people to read, maybe even remember, and bookmark. So there you go. This is how you uh, change your WordPress permalink settings.